<clears throat> Alright, so... As many of you would know... My name is Lilf Palema. Not Lilf Palma or Lilf Palema. Lilf Palema. I'll get to the origin of my name, uh, my last name, when I uh, move on. Anyway, uh, I know that Lilith is a somewhat common name, so um, if there's ever any other Liliths in a game or I'm co streaming with, then for nicknames, you can either call me Lilith, Luma, or now that I'm like this, you can call me Zombie Lilith. Anyway, I think I'll move myself silo. <clears throat> right. Anyway, if I no still damn. <clears throat> if I ever get any fan art on Twitter, I'd like my hashtag to be hashtag Lilmart. My own Twitter is at Lilfbalema, no spaces. My Twitch, that whatever you probably know, is Lilf. Underscore Flamer. And uh, my YouTube, where I upload both my live streams, if you don't already know, is Little Flamer Channel. My species, if it isn't obvious, is Human Zombie. And for those who don't know, I'm also Australian. Uh, my favorite color is purple. I just put that in just to make the list look more complete. And my favorite type of games are 90s or nice style first person shooters, also known as boomer shooters, and fantasy role playing games. Right, so, how did I become a zombie? Well, let's start from the beginning. I come from a long line of magicians who eventually saw themselves fit to. Yeah, who eventually saw themselves fit to change their family name to that. Of an occult system in order to promote it. Hence, Belema. That was sometime the early 20th century. Anyway, um, I was quite fascinated by all the magical tomes in my family's library, but I was so busy reading them, I didn't take much time to actually practice magic myself. But one day, I attempted to raise a boy from the dead, but the spell went wrong and killed me instead. But luckily, William Goetia, a scarecrow that I possessed with a demonic spirit, some of you might know her, in which she happened to be nearby and successfully performed the spell on me. Now, I'm the zombie I tried to create. And uh, as for the corpse in the ritual, um, I think that blew up. Right, so... Now to get on to, um, the lovely creators to thank for this model. First up, my mama, the artist, Prisame Neko. She's quite a talented artist, uh, also a VTuber, and, uh, she's rigged a fair few VTubers besides me. I'm, oh wait, drawn a few, fair few VTubers beside me. You can see there. And she's Brazilian. So she mostly speaks Portuguese, but is fairly fluent in English, so... If you want to watch her live streams, um, expect them to mostly be in Portuguese, but... Um, yeah, she's great. You should check her out. And as for the ring of this... You have... John Juni to thank for this. My papa is Indonesian. <laughs> yeah, I really like the way he made the small old bendy and springy, I guess. See there? <laughs> He's rigged a fair few models of varying art styles. <laughs> um. I'll update my credit info, info on my Twitch page once this debut is done. Alright, so now that that's all done, I 
You saw this a few minutes ago, bum. Here it is again. My stream will... My stream schedule will mostly look like this. I'm... I plan to stream three days a week, usually. I might do more streams, but... Especially if I'm... Uh, collaborating with anyone, but... This is what a typical week on my Twitch channel will normally look like. Now, as I mentioned before, I'm Australian, so... I might be a day ahead of most of you. Anyway, on Tuesday or Monday, for some of you, I'll be playing whatever I feel like. On Wednesday slash Tuesday, that's Midweek Morrowind. I mentioned I like fantasy role-playing games and Morrowind was what got me into it, so... I have a day dedicated to it. And, uh, there will come a time when, um... I'll feel I've... done all I want to with Morrowind. It's a... It's an open-ended game, but... Um, yeah, there'll come a point when I feel I've done enough. And, uh, there'll also come a point where there'll... There'll be other games that are similar to Morrowind that I want to play on stream. So, um, when that happens, it'll become Midwick Morrowind-ish games. Anyway, on Friday or Thursday, that's Quake time! As I mentioned, I also like Boom Shoes and Quake was what got me into them, so... There's a special day dedicated to that as well. And not just Quake 1. All of the Quake games. And not just the base games, also some mods. Mostly for Quake 1, but... Maybe if I find some particularly interesting mods for the other Quake games, I'll play those on streams. 